AMS Translators. My name is Brett Crummond. I am one of the co-founders of AMS Translate and our Chief Science Communicator. So one of the questions that I get asked most often from our community, probably not surprisingly, is will we have a cure for multiple sclerosis in the near future? It's a really difficult question to answer, but I think probably what we need to think about in this case is how do we define a cure? If we define a cure as being a complete treatment where the disease disappears entirely, then unfortunately, I think the answer is no, uh, not in the very near future anyway. We still don't know exactly what causes multiple sclerosis. We know that it's a combination of genetic factors and environmental factors, and we're starting to learn more and more about those jigsaw puzzle pieces, but we still don't really know exactly how they fit together. Now, while that may seem a disappointing answer to begin with, I think if we redefine what a cure means in terms of multiple sclerosis, then perhaps the answer is more encouraging. Currently, we have a number of therapies that exist that are really good at being able to treat the disease in terms of stopping new damage from occurring or slowing down uh, new damage from occurring. These therapies, especially the more recent ones, have become incredibly powerful at doing this. Now, when you factor in other therapies that are becoming more common and we're seeing more research about, such as hematopoietic stem cell transplants, now I think we're at a point now where we're seeing that with the amount of different types of treatments that we have, we should be able to find a treatment that will benefit most people. Now, we know that different people will respond differently to different therapies, but with the right wide range of therapies that we now have available, hopefully most people will find a treatment that can work for them to be able to stop new damage from occurring. However, none of these therapies repair existing damage, and this is really the next big thing in terms of multiple sclerosis management. And this is the notion of myelin repair or remyelination. Now, there is extensive research going on around the world looking at compounds that may be able to do this. And when we talk to people in the field around this, they're really hopeful that we might see our first myelin repair or remyelination therapy become available within the next five to 10 years. Now, if you combine those two therapies, whereby we have a treatment that can stop new damage from occurring, and we have an ulterior treatment that can also start to repair the damage that already exists, then we start to get to a place where we're looking at really complete management of multiple sclerosis. Now, while this might not be how we traditionally would think about a cure, maybe redefining that message of a cure is something that we can work towards. Now, I actually think that there's a third factor that will play into those two treatments, and that's through what we're starting to learn about lifestyle modifications. I think that if we have a really effective treatment to stop new disease and a really effective treatment to repair existing damage, then both of those things combined with what we're learning about how diet can play a role, how exercise can play a role, these different lifestyle factors, which can help maintain a really healthy internal environment to allow the other treatments to have the best chance of succeeding as possible, that's where I feel like we might be heading towards in terms of a really complete management of multiple sclerosis. So is it a cure? Maybe not how we traditionally think about it. But as I said, I think redefining that term for multiple sclerosis is something that we are getting closer and closer towards. And fingers crossed we'll be there in the not too distant future. As I said, remyelination is the next big step. And we know that Everyone in our community is very excited to hear about research in terms of that. So we will be providing more um, updates on that as it becomes available. Let me know what you think about this video. What are your thoughts on this redefined notion of a cure in multiple sclerosis? Please do comment below. I would love to hear your thoughts. Thanks.